Hey everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Today's video is going to be the first episode of this new series on the channel called Cybersecurity Books. And one thing that I love to do is learning by reading books, because you can learn pretty much about any topic you want, and most importantly for me, they provide you with off-screen time, which is amazing if you're spending around 12 to 14 hours a day on your computer. And so, the books that we are going to talk about can be specifically related to cybersecurity or maybe not. And to understand what I mean by that, you'll have to wait for the next episode. But today, we are going to focus on one of the most well-known books in this field, which is the Web Application Hacker's Handbook, 2nd Edition. If you don't know this book already, and if you do a little research on it, you'll probably be surprised to know that this book is actually from 2011. And then you may ask, how is this book still relevant if it was released like 10 years ago? And well, the basic concepts of web applications are still out there, but if you're worried about outdated content, instead of creating a third edition of the book, the authors decided to create an online academy which they can update pretty much whenever they want, called Web Security Academy. And I highly recommend it if you want to learn more about the most recent vulnerabilities in a practical way. And the best thing about it is that it is absolutely free. So make sure you check that out. But now, back to the book, let's try to answer the question, who is this book for? Well, basically, this book is great for everyone who's trying to learn how to hack web applications. And although you can read it from cover to cover, in my opinion, this is more of a book that should be used when you're working or studying specifically about a vulnerability or any concept. And another thing is that when you're starting out as an ethical hacker, most of the times you start by learning how to hack web applications. And that's exactly what happened to me. And so, by having this book, I was able to fill in a lot of gaps I had in the beginning, and I still learn from it pretty much every time I use it. Um, also, the book has around 800 pages, and it covers a lot of relevant information, which is really impressive when you think about it, because this is a tech book with around 10 years of age. I also want to talk about how is this book organized because I think the authors did a really good job here as well. And so starting off, this book has 21 chapters and the first four chapters talk about why are web applications vulnerable to attacks in the first place, which defensive mechanisms should be used, and they also talk about many different web application technologies. Now chapters 5 to 19 explore different attack vectors and chapter 20 focus on many different web application tools used by hackers. Um, but then finally, chapter 21 talks about the one thing that in my opinion is the most important thing for web application hackers, which is the hacker's methodology and mindset. To explain this, I'll give you a practical example. Just imagine that you're testing the authentication process of any web application. And one thing that you could do is just opening the book on chapter 6, which is the attacking authentication chapter, and then you could just start exploring the different attack vectors that exist. Now, the most useful thing that this book provides is that it doesn't just show you how you should be hacking things, it also shows you why things should be configured and coded in a certain way, and then it also provides you with mitigation solutions that you can use on your pen test report. Of course, if those mitigation solutions make sense to the client that you're working with. Um, and so these are the factors that, in my opinion, make this book one of the best web application hacking books of all time. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. And the reason why I decided to start off with this book was because the Web Application Hackers Handbook is considered by many as the Bible of web application hacking. And so, as I said before, many of us start our pen testing and ethical hacking journey by learning how to hack web applications. So I thought this would be a good way to start off this series. Now, on the next episode, we are going to talk about this book here, Social Engineering, The Science of Human Hacking. 
and I'm actually reading this book as part of the research for my master thesis. So stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!